Don't you like my little maggots? Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. This should give you the willies. What's the worst thing you can say before kissing a woman? I'll be glad when this ugly business is over. Flesh Feast is a 1970s schlock horror and the last film of Veronica Lake. How much do they know about me? Lake became a star in the 1940s, teaming up with Alan Ladd to form a sort of second tier Bogart and Bacall in films like The Blue Dahlia and This Gun for Hire. Oh yes, that's right, yes. Films that make you ask, why aren't stars that cool today? <laughs> you wouldn't be trying to lead me astray, would you? Unlike Flesh Feast. Get me the rubber gloves, please, Christine. Which makes you ask, how long can you watch a person putting on a pair of gloves? Ew. Take your time. It's so warm today, my hands are so sticky. Compelling cinema. I've got a tremendous story in very little time. I don't want to jump the gun on the conclusion, but I'm aware of that. you don't. It's terrible. Lake plays Dr. Elaine Fredericks. Do you remember a female doctor? Of course, you don't forget a thing like that. I know it seems crazy, but so does this whole case. She's doing secret experiments on dead bodies. It looks like a clean cut. As you'd expect, using a precision tool like that one. I don't like this. The test subjects are procured by a nurse by sticking a pair of shades on a corpse. Oh, her glasses are falling off. Never mind. But actually, the nurse is an undercover reporter poking about in Frederick's mysterious operation. So things are starting to get interesting around here. Here she is, sneaking into the secret lab. No, I'm wrong. That's just one of the other nurses, in a scene where I can almost hear the voice of the director. OK, you don't notice the decomposing body parts swinging in the middle of the room just yet. Not yet. Did I mention your character has no peripheral vision? Doesn't come up much in the story. Not yet. OK, now. Back to the reporter, who is now pumping a guard for information. I don't even know what things I'm talking about. But I wish I did. All right, I'll tell you then. That was easy. You know, not too far from here, there's a ship loaded with guns and ammunition waiting for us. That's enough. I just wanted to see if you trusted me. Oh, no, wait, I'm wrong again. That's just another nurse. Damn, damn, damn. Of the three nurses involved, the undercover reporter finds out least about the operation. Do you know what this is leading to? Dr. Fredericks has perfected a rejuvenation process in which maggots basically eat the old age off your face. Putting myself in your hands, Carl. Although in that particular case, I'd say they'd eaten the makeup. It looks like the operation is sort of a fountain of youth, a facelift. But why all this secrecy? Good question. I mean, it's gross, but still, why would anyone keep such an extraordinary medical advancement to themselves? This whole thing is bizarre. It's been developed for a very specific purpose, at which the film has been hinting throughout. Our commander is only a few hours from here. Yes, a group of South American neo-Nazis are trying to rejuvenate Hitler so he can lead their revolution. I know I'm seeing it, but it's impossible to believe. But they've reckoned without Dr. Fredericks, whose mother has a history with the Third Reich. As a guinea pig for this treatment. The problem with reviewing this film is... It actually adds up. It all ties in. Elaine Fredericks wants to take revenge on Hitler, but how do you get close to him? I haven't got time to explain it all to you now. You exploit his fear of death by perfecting the age-defeating techniques that killed your mother. Now you're going to get what you gave. 
Elaine probably killed many people in her own researches, ignoring their deaths in her single-minded pursuit of a fitting vengeance. Remember, dear viewer, this is all in the interest of medical science. <laughs> None of which is in the film. The film is about a standard mad scientist whose backstory suddenly becomes interesting five minutes before the end. I don't have complete details on the plot. An end which also makes a nonsense of an earlier plot point when they first test the process. Oh, Carl, it's hopeless. And things go wrong with Hitler only hours away. It's too soon yet to tell whether his face will hold or not. Oh, no. The rejuvenation might not work long term. That would be such a big deal if you weren't planning to kill him. Well, that's disappointing. Thanks for watching. This film was recommended to us by Patreon Shadow Chris Hewson, so thanks, Chris. Can you think of any other B movies in which all the interesting stuff happened before the film started? Let us know in the comments below. Oh, Hitler.